going to be a more traditional kick-off and it's Mark Ricketts, the Boreham Wood captain, who gets things underway and once again Boreham Wood fire the ball right down their right-hand side. forward for White, who does well to control it. Harry White and manages to get a bit of space to pull away a shot and it's skimmed Chapel. off the wet set. Got a bit of space to pull off the shot perhaps, no he hasn't, he's got away from Richards though. It's still Chapel tries to bend run to the far corner, it's headed behind for a run. And he almost won himself a corner, in fact he's done better, he somehow managed to get away from the defenders and puts the ball in, oh and it's a good header. He's going to put it in, he puts it in towards the penalty spot, it's attacked by Jefferson, turned in and it's 1-0 to Boreham Wood, as simple as that. Good spin. And a brilliant pass out wide to find Smith. There's two Boreham players in the area he can pick out. Oh, and it's not cleared well by Assels. And it's turned in by Andrade. And it's Andrade a top wants goal. it down the channel, but Champion does brilliantly well to, to read the game and intercept that. And it's played right over the top by Stevens. And it's the Blues who goes back underway with Ross Hanna coming on at half time for Jordan Chapel. Has an injury quite recently, Ross Hanna, which is around the corner looking for the run of Andrade, who's going to get there ahead of Assels. Lots of space at the back post as it comes in towards there. It might fall here for Murtar. It's a save by Lynch, though. Woodard's perhaps. Instead, it's shot again, blocked again by Assels. This opportunity presents itself. He gets over the wall, but over the crossbar as well. Odds it out wide again to Andrade, who gets the lucky deflection off Dawson. Still Andrade dinks it up, sets it up for Woodard's, who heads it over the crossbar. Side to Zanzal as the ball comes in from the left hand side Bell is in there it might fall here for Niall Bell he's got a bit of a rub the green Niall Bell wraps his foot around it and puts it in the back of the net and Chester Niall Bell could be in here it's a brilliant challenge but it might fall for Ross Hanna it's still on it's not cleared yet Reese Hall Johnson down the line it's a strong challenge from Stevens. still in play and he tries to cross it in but it's behind for Andrews. a corner here's today's man of the match Hall Johnson puts it in towards Assels he chests it down Shaw gets his volley away and it's Helps it on. Bell goes for the second ball, but it's cleared away. And that must surely be it now as Turnbull goes up for the 50-50, but the final whistle blows. And once again, Chester Art defeats.